Hello and welcome to Pentair's Workfront Project Management Software Training. Today we're going to take you an overview of what Workfront is and we'll take you through each of the steps in the process for each Workfront role. Workfront has a few different stages that are tied to roles within Workfront. Each Pentair segment will have a different set of individuals who are responsible for each Workfront role. There are five different steps in the process of a Workfront project. The first step is for someone to submit a project. This is the project requester. Sometimes this is somebody from marketing, sometimes it's a product manager, sometimes it's someone from operations or another part of the business. This form will then send populated data to a request queue manager. The person who runs this part of the process is dependent on your segment. This person is in charge of approving the project, turning it into a work in progress, denying the project or canceling it, or putting the project on hold until they can gather more information. Once the request queue manager has approved the project, it goes to a project planner. Sometimes this individual is the same person. In other cases, that project planner will set a specific amount of tasks in a project that will need to go to workers. Workers can be content writers, someone from the digital team, or a creative. In the worker step, the designer will grab that task assigned to them and they will create the asset. The asset will then go through a review and approval process that sometimes can take a few revisions. Once that process is complete, the project will then be sent to the requester and posted in the appropriate places. The project will then be marked as completed.